what's going on guys, it's Pete here, and um, this is not going to be any gaming video or speed art, uh, it's going to be a tutorial where I'll be teaching you guys how to make a Minecraft banner like mine. So, first thing first, uh, the banners are not going to be the best looking, um, it's not gonna be look, it's not gonna look like mine since that's a bit advanced. Uh, the thumbnail that how I'm going to, uh, I mean not thumbnail, the banner that I'm going to ch teach you is going to be simple, but it's going to be good to start off. So it's for starters, and uh, after a couple weeks or days, I'll be uploading an advanced tutorial, which I'll teach you guys how to make a banner like mine. But today, uh, starter, you, you'll pretty much learn all the basics. So yeah, uh, let's get straight into it. So first thing first. You'll need something called Cinema 4D. Don't care about the Korean letter over there. Uh, you'll need something called Cinema 4D. Uh, it does cost money, um, but I cracked mine. I just got it for free. I'm not gonna pay like thousand dollar on this. So I'll uh, get it for free. Uh, there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube. You can get that. And uh, you only need Photoshop, uh, CC or CS6 will be the best choice. And uh, get it, get like seven days free trial. I don't really care. And the second thing you need. It's a Lightroom. Go to YouTube and search up Lightroom. Or uh, since the one I'm using for for this tutorial, it's going to be costing money about five dollar. I'm pretty sure. So um, go. To, uh, I'll leave a link in the description of a good Lightroom that you can use. And uh, uh you know, where is it? Uh, yeah, I have a lot of uh, a lot of Lightroom the rigs here, and I don't really care about this. So, uh, I'll leave a link on the description of a Git Lightroom that's free you can use. And also, you will need a rig. If you don't know what a rig is, it's going to be uh, like a like a Steve, and you put your skin on it and everything, so you can you know you know what I mean. So, uh, first thing first, uh, you'll need a uh, Lightroom. I use Mondays V3, which cost money, so uh, I don't suggest you using that. Um, cost money there's no point of buying it it's, just, it's good quality but yeah and the rig that we will be using is fmr 5.0 and i think it's this one i'm pretty sure yep it's this one it's uh search it up on youtube actually i'll leave a link to the download on the description it is going to be a video and yeah also i forgot about this um okay uh uh, something real quick. And if you have Lightroom, um, the Lightroom obviously. Where the hell is it? Speed art. Uh, okay. Um, so the Lightroom, the render preset. I use this like this. This is how I do mine. But if you have the Lightroom, it should be in there. It's gonna be like this right over there. Uh, go to the settings just in case, and uh. Put the width and height in 1080 to uh, 1920 so you can get a good quality. Uh, who cares about any of these? I'll put and on save uh, place. Then click on this little image and uh, this is desktop. It's just Korean, so I'm, since I'm Korean. Uh, name it whatever you want, tutorial. I really do not care. And uh, yeah, you're pretty much good to go. Make sure this is on PNG. You're just probably uh, most likely not on PNG. And this 8-bit channel, um, uh, alpha channel. Make sure to have that on as well, or else your picture won't. Uh, the background, you'll, you'll, yeah, it won't look good. So uh, that's pretty much it about that. And it's time to put your skin in. Uh, I'm not gonna use my skin. My skin is way too hard to uh, demonstrate in the videos. I'm just gonna use uh, Nova skin. Find a really simple skin that to, I can use. This one, uh, not really, not the best. Um, Oh, no, I'm not, yeah, I'm just gonna use a Steve skin, I guess. So, uh, you can just follow me along. So, first thing first, if you are on, um, FMR, uh, you, if you see, there's like a little eye over there. Uh, actually, I just get my own, I'm not skin. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> it's easier to understand. Um, not this skin, a bit too complicated. Most of you guys has a hoodie on the skin, so hoodie. I don't know. Asian Canadian. He has a hoodie. No, he don't. But 
I don't know. For the video purpose, I'll use this, and uh, I, I'm not gonna make it way too like fancy and everything. So I'll drag it onto your desktop. That's what I do usually. Waste the skin, close out, get on your Cinema 4D again. And what you do starting from here is pretty dang simple. Uh, if you look at the skin like this, it's kind of blurry. I don't know why this happens, but you'll see the eye. And if you go to the thingy, uh, this is how you add the skin on it. You click on this uh, FMR 5.0 thingy, and you'll still be able to see a skin file over here. You click on the three dot, and then you find your skin. And my skin is over here. Okay. And look, the eyes are kind of funky, and if you want to fix that, it's really simple. You just got to, um, go on Photoshop and remove the eyes. But I'm not going to do that in this video, uh, I'm, I'm gonna disable the eyes, and, uh, I like this style way better than the, um, original style. I don't know why, it just looks better for me, in my opinion. So, uh, do what I'm doing here, uh, if you want to look, uh, change the eye, uh, that will be on the advanced video, so, stay tuned for that, but this, uh, I, I just like it like this. And also, second thing, second, uh, go to the layers section, and if you look at these, uh, stuff, you'll see, like, 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 like a little lock over here, locker, um, click on it, so all the lockers are open other locks are open instead of being closed like this right over here so open it and it should be good to go so after that go to this button again I really cannot read that as attributes or something so now something uh, time to make the skin all popping out and better looking so now what you do is click on this uh, FMR 5.0 click on this um kind of like a start plus sign over here go to head an extrude mesh hat and extrude mesh hat. Uh, you'll see like the two red dots over here. Uh, turn off the, both of the red dots, and uh, now you'll see like a little. And now you're good to go. So, uh, what you do, you'll you'll see like a little thing. So click on the mesh hat thingy, drag it over here, and you'll see a, like a head just out of nowhere, and you just drag that there, which is the second layer of the skin. So now, go to your uh, head by clicking on that, or just clicking on the head, it doesn't really matter. Do that, and click on this little thing, and you'll see a bunch of uh, pixels, or I mean like squares around the skin. And you can select it and make it yellow. So what you do is, uh, I'm changing my brush kind of size over here. Uh, hold on, left click, and make it, I uh, use scroll to make it small. Make it as uh, small as possible, and now what you do is, um, Press shift on your keyboard and use your mouse and try to select every single um, face, not the hair, only the face. And uh, yeah, uh, and if you don't press uh, shift after you do that, you want to uh, select here. It just resets the whole entire thing, so make sure to uh, uh, press shift. And oh no, you went on the hair accidentally. Simple, uh, press control on your keyboard and just go over it, then it should be deleted. So, uh, any questions, uh, ask me in the uh, comment section. Just delete all of these, really easy to delete. Delete all the face and the neck kind of place. And, uh, uh, this won't take long, trust me. Now, uh, I deleted it. Now, it's time for the head. So, uh, you don't have to, uh, you, you have to select the whole entire thing, and you don't have to select every single thing since that's gonna take a while. So, what you do is press control on your keyboard, and, uh, put your mouse anywhere on the hair, and press control A, which will select the whole entire hair layer for you. And some of your, uh, skin hairs, probably the bottom has some hair as well. Uh, just deselect them by control, uh, pressing control and using your mouse. And then now what you do is press D on your keyboard, which will bring you to this setting kind of place. Uh, maximum angle, put it on 91, 91 degrees. And the offset on 5 and apply. And if you see, uh, you'll see like a little kind of like bend, and that looks ugly as hell. Uh, that might not happen to every single one of your skin, but if it does, it's really simple. Just uh, deselect the whole entire front of your face, uh, of your hair, only the front, nowhere else. Press D again, make it 5. Now, 
select the, uh, the front of your face again, only the front of your face this time, and then make it 5. So, uh, simple as that, it will make your uh, head look all nice looking. Now, what you gotta do is just put it, uh, never mind. So, now, you're on like this, uh, you're probably on like this, probably, most likely. Uh, you just gotta click on that, uh, cube again. And down here, you'll see the position. Uh, make, put the X on zero, and press apply or enter, it doesn't really matter. And you'll have it on your, uh, skin like this. And if you look at this, it's, uh, like, if you look at my speed arts, it's kind of, like, bubbly, which make it more popping out. And this one isn't, which just makes it ugly. Click on that, and make sure you didn't select anything. Press C and M on your keyboard, which will bring up this kind of brush thing. And go to the strength, 50, uh, radius 50 as well. 50 centimeter and 50%. And just, like, drag this up, up a bit like this. Which just makes it, uh, good looking. Actually, uh, uh, I made this all wrong. So, um, uh, go back all the way back here. Uh, you can just press Ctrl Z on your, uh, spam control, uh, spam clicking Ctrl Z on your keyboard. Or you can just click on the arrow until you come back here. Just for the purpose of this skin, uh, you want to press here again. Uh, you don't want to use, uh, 5. It just looks horrible on this, not this skin, this rig. we are using this rig. we are using the rig that I use most uh, often. I, I, I like to put it on 5, but just for the purpose of this skin. We're gonna use uh, the offset as... Eh, we messed up. Offset as uh, number 3, since I, I don't really like the hair being way too big on this rig. It just looks ugly in my opinion. And press D, and here you go. So now, uh, actually, let's just do the CM thing over here. Make it all puffy looking style. Since I made it smaller, make the strength and stuff smaller as well. 30 will be perfect, I, in my opinion. I never tried it. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Make it kind of like puffy looking. You know, that's a bit way too less. So, uh, put it on 40% and 40 as the radius. And then, yeah, I'll just make it all puffy looking. Yeah, you, you guys can understand this pretty well, I'm pretty sure. Now, it's time to move on the second layer of your skin. The hood or the... This, in case, uh, I guess it's the hood. Press this button again. And you'll see all these kind of like transparent uh, squares. Uh, remove every single one of them. So, and... If you don't, it will make your skin all messed up, the rig. So, um, you don't want to select like every single one of this. Don't press Ctrl A as well, because that is going to just take you way too long. I mean, uh, you have to deselect the hood again. So what you do, press U and L on your keyboard, which will get this kind of loop thing, and you can select the whole entire loop. And make sure you don't select your skin accidentally, and uh, select here as well. Here as well, there's no skin there. Now you just gotta do it manually, I guess, which is not a bad thing. It won't take you that long of the time. Just do it, and I, I have to halfway done, delete it so you can have a better view of it. Delete it again. If you want to know how to delete, just press delete on your keyboard. Simple as that. So, now, um, do this, select the rest of the transparent squares, press delete, delete them. And, yeah, uh, now let's just, almost done deleting, now I am done, actually no, I'm not, there's still more place over here. So after you have deleted, just press Control A, like this, and then press D, make it 3, and press C, yeah, make it all kind of puffy styled, I guess, you know, kind of looks good, and uh, Put the position on zero like that, and we're good to go with the hair. And as you see, the hair looks pretty decent, but it might look a bit plain for you. There's a way to fix that. Um, put the mesh hat and drag that again. Uh, for some of you, have a second hat layer. Like, if for some of your skin will have like a on the second layer uh, where the hoodie is or like a mask is. There will be a little hair piece as the second layer, and uh, 
then you don't need to do what I'm doing here. You just gotta do, just follow what I'm doing. Just for like the whole entire piece of the hair for using the like the second layer thing in my babe. Just select the whole entire thing. Not the whole entire thing, but like what for this skin you have to, but for the make the offset too, uh for the skin that has the layer, like well like, you know like it has a mask and another set a hair layer on the top. Just press D again. Select the middle part like this. And uh yeah, like that. And it it just looks better I guess. Play on Gerald, not the best but that's just just works for now for starters. And now time to uh extrude like make it pop out on the arms. So what you do Oh yeah, I, I didn't really clearly explain. If you have the second layer on the hair, like the hair over here, and you have like a hair on top here, just do what I did on that hair, and you're pretty much good to go. And now time to make the arms and stuff. So, click on the arm, press shift on your keyboard, and click on the second arm as well, and press on this little thing, and you'll see like this, and uh, if your skin doesn't have a... Uh, this kind of uh, jacket or anything, it doesn't really matter for you. Press UL and uh, select the part where it's like you kind of fold it so it comes up, kind of like pops out. Put it on two, it will make it pop out. Look, it will look better actually. This skin doesn't really look nice like it. So, uh, instead of two, I'll put one and it's your preference, whatever you want to do, just do it. And time to do the shoes. Now press click on it and shift click it and both of them will be selected. So now what you do here is make the shoe and this again, can't really see the shoe but it should be easy. Just press UL again, click, just like, select the whole entire shoe and select the white part as well. And you probably can't see in this shoe but pretty sure that there will be like another layer there and it should be like that. That should be how you did yours. But some of your skin doesn't have the top part over here. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Now press D. Uh, press uh, and then put the offset on two. And sorry if you guys can't hear police on the background. Now select the white part where will be the shoelaces. And uh, press one. Now um, the shoe looks pretty nice, I guess. Now, so uh, shoes pretty nice to get to go, I guess. Now. It's time to make the pose. Pose, pose, pose. A uh, jacket might look a bit plain. Uh, I guess you can do that as well, but I'm not going to. Jacket it doesn't really matter. So, and I, I kind of got this new style on my banners. Instead of making it, making two or three poses, like the uh, newest speed art that I have done, I like to make one pose. And since it's a tutorial, I don't want to make it way too hard. I'll be making one pose. Uh, making a pose is really easy. Uh, you see like a little blue thing, you just- Actually, on this- Yeah, you see like a little blue thing. You just click on it and you'll be able to see like a arrow kind of thing over here. That's up, that's yeah, moving it, and that's making it back and forward. Then we'll just- Yeah, you can just mess around with that. Or you can just make the pose that I'm going to make here. I'm going to make a uh, pose. Uh, if you want to lo rotate the whole entire skin, I mean whole entire rig, the body, just click on the thing, rotate it, and the rotation, you use that, and if you want to move it, you use this. Now, I'm gonna rotate it a bit, like this, and uh, kinda make, uh, make him look this way, make this character look this way, and you can take some time making this, get looking, you need to take time. Don't rush, don't rush, rush will ne never work. And yeah, uh, let's make this kind of good looking, I guess. And if you happen to make your shoe like all bunked up kind of style, and it looks really horrible, just click on that. Just kind of like, use the rotation thingy and try to fix it. That looks nice, I guess. Yeah, it looks pretty good, my opinion. And change this a bit. And yeah, uh, like this. This, th I I'm really rushing at this point. And look, this is such a good angle. But if you move the camera by using this, you're gonna mess up your angle. If you want to keep that, 
you see like a little camera on it, click on it, and uh, click on this like little couple kind of white thing over here, click on it, and then escape, uh, click it again, you can just move whatever you want, just change the position of it, it doesn't really matter, make it all good looking, now click back onto it and you'll have your position set. Now, uh, no weapon at all, it kind of looks ugly, uh, go to your rig place, uh, uh, just go to YouTube and type Minecraft Cinema 4D Sword Rig, and there should be a bunch of them, just download them, if you want to know how to use it, oh, it's really simple, you just gotta drag it in, and then there should be like a little box coming out, for example, let's, I just show you here, rigs, uh, I have my rig over here, and I'll be, uh, I'll be using the 3D Iron Sword, you just grab it, put it in there, and, uh, you'll be able to see, like, a little box over here. Just click on the, uh, thing that you're looking for, and you're good to go. Now, you just gotta place the weapon on your hand, or whatever, wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. Place it wherever you want. And, uh, yeah, uh, let's get, let's make a pretty good looking pose. Uh, I'm not gonna make a super fancy looking pose, I guess. So it's not going to happen. Not in, not in uh, starters tutorial. And if you think you're good at this, then you can watch my advanced tutorial when it comes out. But not for now. It's gonna be a simple one. Take out of the camera again. Make the store shape look better. Don't make any of those pop out. It just looks horrible. And the sword. Just, just rotate it like that. Looks pretty nice. Actually, I'm gonna want to rotate this a bit like that. And you'll see like a little sword popping out. You don't want that to happen. Just move it. Move it. So you don't see it. Now, looks perfect, doesn't it? Now, it's time to render it out. And how do you do it? Make sure your save is where you want to save it on. Uh, now just click on this little render button like over here. And we'll start to render your first. It might look like this or yours might look complete different. But just wait until... Just wait, 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 wait. Until you can see the actual skin kind of thing in the So now we are done with the skin. It looks really fantastic. But if you look, it's a bit way too dark, isn't it? Want to make it lighter? Simple. You see like a little light bulb? It will just make everything suddenly black. But it doesn't really matter. Just use this. Put it far away, kind of like this. And then render it again. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna replace the file, render it again, and, and it should be pretty dang light. Uh, bright. Since the light bulb will make it bright, yay! As you can see now, as you guys can tell, it's much more brighter than that one. So yeah, uh, good looking skin, I guess. Now, it's time for Photoshop. So, get out. Uh, I only did one render, you can make more than one if you want. But, I got this new style where I just want to use one. So, now, it depends all on your skin color, pretty much. So, uh, get on this and like, check your skin color. If it's blue, your whole entire banner color should be kind of blue. So just get on Photoshop real quick. Open it up. Open, open, open. Uh, now what you do is to get the correct file size, I mean the banner size. It's really simple. Click on the Google. I'll type uh, YouTube banner image, and you'll be able to see this kind of little thing. Uh, the, uh, save image. Mine is Korean, and uh, save it wherever you want. I did save it. Now get out. Exit out. Exit out. Exit out. Exit out. And what is this? Uh, isn't this a PNG file? Um, whoops. Might have not saved it in PNG file. So, uh, let's go back and, uh, YouTube banner. Images. Get over here. Uh, okay, save it. I'm pretty sure I saved it, right? Huh, something weird going on. And now you can exit out your semi 40. I don't know why I just opened it up again. No, I don't want you. I do not want you. So now I'll just drag it in here. Okay, uh, this is really weird. I don't know. Uh, I can just probably do this. 
Um, doesn't work. Well, you guys can do that and just drag it in the Photoshop. I have my own. Uh, where is it? It's gonna be in my computer at play. Someone just sent me a YouTube video. I do not care about you. I am very sorry. I am very mean, but I don't give a crap anyway. Now, this is my YouTube banner thingy, my Bob. Uh, but you guys can use the banner one and uh the make sure the the youtube banner thing the layer place is at the very end so now uh it's time to get started that's korean because well it's library uh, now it's time to put the um the, the actual render in here it kind of it's kind of hard to uh mess around with it in the thing so make a new file just press on file new and make it 1920 by 18 uh 1080 and pixels make sure it's pixels rgb color just copy wh whatever i have here press ok now uh you drag the image in here now just to add it's time to add special touches click on this click on fit filters and liquify and make the skin like all kind of like i don't know uh make the brush size all a, a bit smaller about I don't know, like 70, 50 will work. Nah, bitch. Actually, I'm not gonna do this. This looks perfectly fine. What you do is you have to copy this twice. To do that, press Ctrl and J and Ctrl and J again on the keyboard while that's selected. Now, it's time to uh, make it pretty looking. Uh, first, cl click on those two little eyeball things so you can't really see them. No, not that. I don't want to go there. Double click on the image, like over there. Now, time to, uh, now you're on the blending mode kind of place. Uh, gradient overlay, and this is just messed up. Uh, put this color on black. Yours is probably on black and white already, but mine is not. Yeah, I'm black and white, and, uh, technically, where the white color is on your skin is where the sun is going to be, and my sun is going to be technically there. And then, uh, put this on overlay, and... Voila! Look at this. I almost said voila, but voila. Look at this. It just makes it. Just yeah. Look at this. Now you click on inner. No. Not, yeah, inner glow. Yours is probably not like this. Yours is probably on normal. Uh, this will be like this style, like this. Inner glow. What did I do? What have I done? Put this on overlay again. Inner glow. Yours is probably going to look like this. Actually, this might not look as good. I'll show you this. So, uh, yours is probably going to look like this. What you do, click on size over here, and you make sure it's on edge, and uh, so everything is technically what I'm using. Just bump the size a bit, so you'll see like a little white thing over here. Put down the opacity a bit. I'm not sure if you do, yeah, you put on color dodge. So, it, like, the part just kind of like, just gets much more brighter. Uh, you can choose whichever one that you want here. Doesn't really matter. The one that you like, but... I like myself the color those the most. Now it's for the real, real uh, special touches. Click on the second one, the one that you copied. Click on filter. Oh yeah, make sure to click on the eyeball again. And you kind of pretty much lost your thing. It doesn't really matter. You're gonna get recovered soon. Uh, click on filter, filter gallery, and come to this. Uh, go to artistic and plastic wrap. And copy the same setting over here. I'll wait you guys for five minutes. I mean five seconds, and you should be good to go. Five, four, three, two, one. We're done. Do that. It looks all ugly. It's simple. You can fix it really fast. Click on this. Put it on overlay, which will get you this fantastic looking. Just makes it really nice. I don't know. In my in my opinion, it just does. Now, for the second touch, click on the eyeball again, and then everything will be gone, but you'll re uh, recover it again. Go to filter gallery, this time go to stylize and glowing edge. Now, just copy whatever I got here, copy the setting, another 5 seconds, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, we're done. Now, it looks all ugly, obviously you come over here again, uh, to the place. Color dodge or liner dodge, I really like it on uh, uh, liner or actually color dodge. And then you go on the opacity and just like 
lower that. Actually, no. Before that, cl click on it. Press Control U on your keyboard, and then you'll see like a hue saturation place kind of place, I guess. Uh, don't do that. Uh, click on colorize thing, and then you'll see the actual color over here. Uh, just make it red. If it's blue, if your skin is blue, make it blue. Since this skin is red, uh, I'll be using blue. This is the closest color to blue, I mean red. And then you go over here, you do this. Uh, slow the opacity, but it doesn't matter. You can go over, like, about this much. And just get a uh, eraser tool. It's gonna look like this if it's uh, Photoshop CC 2017 version. But if it's a... Uh, Let's see if it's um, uh, CS6, it might look different, but you'll be able to find the eraser. Now just erase the, the face, kind of like, because it doesn't really look nice on the face. Only the hair and the body part just makes it more popping out and good looking. Now, um, we're good to go. So, everything, the skin, we made it much more good looking. Now, it's time to make it even more prettier. The sword, make it red. Red, red, red. This is just making the skin. So, uh, come to this like, kind of brush, uh, brush place. Uh, you'll be able to see like a, um, I don't know, like, like this coloring place, like over here, like me. Click on it. Your, yours might look a bit different, but click on it. Uh, since the skin is red, I'm gonna use red. Your coloring place is not gonna look like this, obviously. I somehow messed my thing up, so it just looks much more bad. A, lo a lot like really bad so before you actually do anything make sure you click on that little thingy so you have an extra layer and be on the layer and color it and this really looks ugly doesn't it doesn't it look ugly you go over here you no 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 don't do that don't do that no not not so well. put on normal put on normal and then filter filter gallery no not no 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 I did something wrong filter filler and uh, um, a Gaussian blur or something. I don't know. I don't really don't care. Let's make it big so you can't really see that much of the red. And you you can still see some red. And press Control T on your keyboard, which will get you this kind of little box thing, so you can move it around, move it so I can match the color. Now you have done that. It's, it just looks pretty nice, doesn't it? In my opinion, it does. Uh, oh yeah, uh, if you look at the eye, it really doesn't look, uh, doesn't look, uh, what is it, realistic. So, uh, get a uh, tool like this, um, this kind of tool like this, uh, polygonal lasso tool or something. Now, uh, press Alt on your keyboard and use the scroll to scroll to the place that you want to. Go to the place where you want to, uh, and then use this thing. Do this kind of thing. You don't have to do this since this is hard. Uh, you want to do this, then do it. Just that it will be a bit hard for you. You can do it if you want, but mm, not recommending for. Uh, you don't have to do it, but I want to do it since it just makes it look much more nice and neater. Don't make it red. I'll make the color uh, white. I mean black, complete black. If you want to copy this, sure you can. Don't really count for. Uh, press Control Z on your keyboard if you want to fix it. If you did something wrong, or you can just go to Edit and uh, step backward or step forward. So uh, let's do the black painting. It might take you some time. Make it so like it looks like that. It might look a bit creepy, but it really doesn't. Trust me, it does not. And that really. Actually, I, I actually did that on the wrong um, place. Just leave it like that. It, it's good for now. Now, click on this like little folder kind of thing over there and name it Render. Double click on the thingy bob and you can change the name. Now, click on that and press Shift. Go down to the very last layer and then yeah, you, you, you have everything selected. Or you can just select one and put it in, but that just takes forever. Put in the render. Now, go to the banner place. You do this, you duplicate group. You go to uh, 
over here you select on the document select where the main thing is yours is probably called youtube banner firework kind of thingy and that's what it usually is and this is how it's gonna look and if it's your youtube banner uh there's gonna be like a trim uh like that like let's show you this youtube uh banner so uh you'll see this and uh everything has to be inside this kind of little thing if it's outside then uh it won't be showing up on your banner place so now uh what i do is i put it on on top like that and uh, never mind i just leave it like this make it small and obviously don't make get like don't do this like say that this was the banner don't just don't just don't just don't try to fit the whole entire render like that in your and it just looks ugly so uh control t it and you can move it and you can change the size as well press shift while doing this so uh if the size doesn't get all messed up make sure the sword the main part it's in there and you can rotate it as well like this and here you go looks all fancy now time to get the background like what i do so simple you just go on google type minecraft shaders and uh type night i really do not care get a good looking shader just grab any of these i like this looking i like that i like every single one of these just select every single one just minecraft shaders i don't really care select one that looks uh, nice in your opinion i think this looks nice uh save the image and get to go go to photoshop and just make it big so it fills out the whole entire place now press after you put you won't be able to like just go on that you gotta press this little check mark so yeah now uh put that on the very bottom just click on it and drag it to the very bottom so it just looks good i guess now time to change the color this does not look good the, the color does not look good it's it's not um it's it's not it's, it's not red it's the metro skin color man it just does so what you want to do is go over here adjustment place if you can't find it you should be fine anyway it's you should now find color balance it's like a little thing in the box put it on red like that not really magenta but make it like this kind of red style and press on curves and do that kind of makes it dark looking style so yeah now what you want to do is um w make the word uh i like to do it in um 2d these days i don't know why this does and make uh i i like to use something called lemon milk uh you can use that you can download it in dashfonts.com like go over here dashfonts.com and it shows you all those fancy looking stuff just download one of those uh, good looking things that you think it looks good and use it. Now, make sure the size is on 100 and uh, let's just make the name tutorial. And this doesn't really look that great, does it? No, just complete white. Wait, uh, actually, uh, on these kind of one, uh, one, one, uh, render. Um, one render, um, one render, um, like one render position thingy, position thingy, Mbabe. Uh, you want to make the text as skinny as possible. Just looks better like that. Now, just double click on the layer thingy, and here you go. Uh, don't click stroke on this, it doesn't look good. Now I just go over to the gradient overlay. This used to be on overlay, but I play on normal now. And I'll uh, put this on 90 degrees. And uh, I accidentally pressed enter, uh, so I uh, go back here. And don't put the color back. And now, don't put the color overlay. Now, click on this gradient place. And over here, make the color that you, your skin is. Mine is red, so I'm making it red, dark red, and a really light red. And you might not be able to realize that a bit. So make it a bit darker. You can. Now, it looks kind of good, but not good enough. Press inner glow. And go over there. And make the color. 
are red. Make it right and make that on uh, normal. No. Oh, yeah. yeah, actually put this on uh, white. White, 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 white. Uh, keep it like this. And drop the size up a bit. And it just makes it look better. Stroke, you can do it, but not my favorite thing to do on 2D banners. So now uh, you have that done. It looks like this now. Doesn't look the best. You can kind of like put space on it. I don't know, it just looks better on these kind of banners. Put space on it, tutorial looks fantastic. Now, uh, time to make the back a bit more better. So, go to uh, Google and go to YouTube and uh, type, um, type shadows uh, 25k. CC pack and uh, yeah, here. This uh, this is his CC pack. Looks really nice. Trust me. Go to uh, go to this uh, download link and uh, tweet or share it with someone to download it. And yeah, uh, I have it. I downloaded it already. And, uh, I'll, and if you want to open that, just put it on your uh, desktop. Uh, shadow, 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 shadow. There you go, just double click on it, uh, just wait until your photoshop opens it, and here you go. Just uncheck every single one, uh, one of these, there's eyeballs, except for the color correction, kind of button, thingy blah blah. Now, what you do, is you go through every single one of these color corrections. And find the color of your skin. So, say that your skin is blue or cyan, use the blue or cyan skin, or since this one, uh, the color. Since this skin is red, I'm going to find red, and I just found it. Fantastic. Uh, duplicate it. Uh, just like right click, duplicate group. Click on this thing. My banner trims. That's the name, but yours is probably different. Now, put it on the very top. No, do not do that. That's stupid. Put it right on top the um your shaders, and then look at how sick this looks. I mean, it doesn't look the best. Trust me, it doesn't. But it looks good. Now, go to the very top layer and click on this uh kind of like curve thingy again and make it dark. Look at this. Look at this. And make this red. And it gives you that red style. And look! Look, the banner's getting better looking and better and better and better. Now, uh, time to finish this off. Click on that uh, thingy and make a new layer. Get this kind of square box uh, thingy, and then oh, I did something stupid, but uh, already I have to fix it. Okay, who okay, cares? Let's just work on it like this. So, what you do? Get over here, and like it's really hard to tell in my thing, but if it's dark. Yeah, you should really make it dark. Uh, go to this kind of light little place over here, and uh, your banner. This just don't select that part. Use this uh tool. And select the part where your banner will be seen. So like this, this part. Select the part that your banner will be seen. Like what I did. Not really, kind of. Just select the part of the banner like this. Uh, it's really hard for me to see, but just select it. You should be easy for using the light color, but just is red it won't really work out that well now look at this it looks good so now grab the uh, brush tool or you can use the paint bucket but I really do not know where the hell my paint bucket tool is so I'm gonna use the brush uh, change the color to white make sure it's on white sometimes it just doesn't uh, work so just click on the color and just make it white again and then just just color in the whole entire thing and look at how ugly this looks man this looks ugly for me, this is on the very top. For you, make sure it's on the very bottom. Or else, yeah, it will just make up. Make up a bit. Now, select, just leave a little teeny tiny part out. You don't have to do this, but I like to do it just to make it uh, better looking. And just select this and make a little part left out and press delete. No, not on that. Press delete on the layer. Now, it will have this like white kind of thing. It won't look that good. But if we do overlay, 
Look at that, it just makes that little one place brighter. You can use rather use overlay or soft light. Since mine is really dark, I'll use soft light. If yours like bright color, make it overlay. But since mine is uh, really dark, of a banner color, uh, make it soft light. And I forgot to mention this. Go on renders, uh, right click it, convert uh, smart object. So it's not on that anymore. Now copy it, copy and paste it. Don't do Control C and Control uh, V. It doesn't work on Photoshop. Uh, you gotta do click on it and control J. It will uh, duplicate it automatically and go to the one that's under it and like that. Like that. This looks ugly. Oh my god! What did I do? What have I done? What have I done? Okay, I have to go back up. So go over there, press control T and move it a bit like this. Yeah, like that. That looks nice. Not what you wanna do. Let's press control U on that uh specific part and make it. Yeah, like this. Not like that, but... Wait, cancel. Uh, go back. Press Control uh, Z. After you press Control Z once, press Control Alt Z, or else it won't work. So do you, uh if you or if it doesn't work, just go on this and step work. Yeah, it shows you everything. This shortcuts. Uh, copy and paste it again. Actually, no. Go back until you have that like that. Uh, copy and paste that. And. First layer on a uh, convert to smart object, and the second layer, um, simple delete all these, delete and delete that as well, except for the actual like the wait, no, whoopsie, the whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. Yeah, delete everything except for the original image. Actually, don't do that. Stupid, really stupid to do that. Um, what do I do? Whoops, you know. Whoops. Yeah, just, just keep it like this. Just keep it. Just keep it like this. Oh, no, I got the right. Just, 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 just. Uh, I gotta go all the way back. Okay, good. Uh, just press Control Z since I messed up everything. Pretty much everything. Uh, where is that? Is oh, well, never mind, never mind. And now it looks like this. Oh my God, I messed up everything. Well, hopefully you didn't mess up like what I did. So now what you do on, at this stage is um, go out to your desktop and I really do not know how to get out of this. Please. Oh, whoops. Yeah, just get out like that. And now uh, get your image again and put it back in Photoshop. Now what you want to do is make it a bit small like that and put it like this, I guess. Like, and then make sure it's uh, under the text as well, put it like that and press Control U, put the saturation all the way to there. And yeah, put it like that. And then, uh, like, put it like this and make it a bit bigger than the actual uh, image. Do that and make the opacity like 50%, or I mean, 62 looks the best. That change your color a bit more so it's really dark, and this looks fantastic, doesn't it? So, uh, not what you want to do is you're pretty much done. The last thing you gotta do is, um, really pretty much just right, uh, do that, make the color white, and make sure it's on the very top. You don't have to do this on the graphic designer, so I'm doing this. No, I don't want that on the very top, I want this on the very top. You don't have to do this. Alright, bye. Good. Goodbye. Yeah, just add that little thing and you're done. You're done. I'm sorry if this uh, t tutorial wasn't really uh, really teaching you guys that much, but uh, I messed up a lot. I really messed up a lot. And uh, this banner looks really uh, do uh, fantastic looking, I guess. Uh, sorry, the video is gonna be crap long, but it doesn't really matter. The banner looks like this. Looks really fantastic, looking nice, all good. Now, I'll teach you guys how to save it. File, click on File, click on Save As, and uh, go to uh, Desktop or wherever you want to save it. And make the name, I'll make it Tutorial, dot dot dot, and then uh, this Photoshop, click on that thing, make it PNG, and uh, that Save button, press OK. Now wait, 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 until this should be done. 
right there. Now, oh, you don't have to save it. No, no, I don't want to save these. And voila! Your banner's done. And this actually does look really sick. I'll delete that image. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.